So for anybody who hasn't seen, Robbie Starbuck is someone who um, has exposed Harley Davidson Corporation for using DEI to the hilt. So the diversity and equity etc etc uh, inclusive equity it's basically reverse racism to fit all these different types of people into one category people should be hired in my opinion on their merit not what color they are i think it's disgusting and also sending uh white employees to uh, learn how to get along with the gay community and um uh, other races etc you know so, yes, we all should be kind to one another. We shouldn't be taught because it's our choice. Do we want to associate with that lifestyle or don't we? It's not something that should be pushed on people. It's really pretty unbelievable. So definitely if you're on X, which I've been on for like a week, I, I really don't do social media, but it's election year and it's getting crazy and the news is not telling us everything. You're going to see a lot more on X, trust me. Um, Instagram, I was being kicked off daily. Uh, for posting Trump, and I think I swore a few times, and I don't even really swear uh, publicly that often. So it was very unique that they would catch very small, minute things and kick me off over and over and over within like a three-week period. So I won't be doing Instagram. I think it's very woke. But, uh, you know, we're all allowed to have our ideals, right? You know, whatever we, it's a free place as long as we don't hurt others. Um, we're allowed to have our ideas. But I do not agree with companies using DEI and especially not something that I would buy to ride. I've ridden for about five years, so I'm kind of like a newbie to a lot of people. Um, but that culture has been part of my life forever. Harley Davidson's, Indians, Kawasaki's, etc. You know, Ford trucks, uh, Chevy trucks. It's amazing when you really start looking into all of these American companies, how few American parts they use and how woke their top is so it's it's really interesting um you know to start seeing these companies exposed but it's like most of my coffee mugs in the morning are harley davidson brands so i'm definitely gonna have to find something different to drink my coffee in now are are all of the bikers gonna put their bikes down and so on and so on no because there's there's a huge um you know jugular the the, the a huge vein or a huge jugular, whatever you want to say, for for what Harley is to the United States. But I hope that people do take a look and stop buying the new products and the new bikes because you're so. It, it, this is unfortunate for dealers. I know some really cool dealers, you know, uh, dealership employees, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and very good looking ones too. Um, but it, it is unfortunate for the dealerships. But regardless we can't have this in this country. This has got to end. And it's coming from late twenties, early thirties employees that, you know, have gone through these colleges, teaching them DEI is good and they implement it. And they think that it's something that's going to save the world. Why don't you save the world by just being a better person and back off the DEI? Harley, you, you lost me, man. Like literally. And to be honest, I'm, I, I'd like for somebody to look into Indian too, because I have a feeling there's, there's some DEI going on with Indian. Look at their ads. Um, but I will say, it looks like Indian's coming out a cleaner slate. I, I hope to learn more on this. So, Robbie Starbuck, maybe you should do Indian next. Peace out, guys. It's been a while since I posted. I'm back in California. Not really that excited about that, to be honest. Um, but there are some good people here. There are, there are a few good people here in California. It's Other than that, it's terrible. But uh, peace out, everybody. Bye. JT.